Today I spent $2,000 on GoFormat. What's up guys, we're back with another GOAT format video. And if you guys don't know what GOAT format is, GOAT format is a format, if you don't know what a format is, we're talking about how you play the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG that was played back in the summer of 2005. The current set at the time of GOAT format was the Lost Millennium. It was right before Cybernetic Revolution and all that Cyber Dragon craziness. But a lot of people still play this format. There's an online community at GOATformat.com. It's still really fun, even though it's more old school. And if you're an old school guy like me, you'll really love it. So I actually bought a GOAT format deck today, which can get really really expensive because there's a lot of really old school like ulties and really cool stuff like that. Before we get into the video, the guy who sold me this deck wanted me to shout out his Pokemon channel. It's called It's the Big Fish. Make sure you guys go check it out down in the description and uh, let's get into the video. I actually have four other Go Format decks. I'm not going to go through these like in a deck profile or anything crazy. They're not even in order really, but these are some of my cards. Here's like a, a side deck for this one. So a lot of times you play like Solemn Judgment. Trap Dust Shoot was insane at the time because it's basically allowing you to see your opponent's hand. Then you get to send back a monster, which is just insanely good judgment was crazy this card's decent this is a warrior deck by the way so warrior is one of the best decks in go format uh and you can play the berserk gorilla Ooh, uh, uh. oh wait this isn't warrior this is a zombie actually this is the zombie deck giant rat you bring out you can get ryu koki out basically for free because he has 2k defense you use pyramid turtle it's pretty insane pyramid turtle allows you to do 2000 or less defense which is really insane for a floater so if this guy he's set they take him out you get to bring out you know vampire lord you get to bring out ryu koki creature swap is crazy book of life was awesome back then i'm not going to go through all this stuff but here's some of the kinds of cards that you will see like all of these you might remember from old school decks and old school sets and that's where they came from because they're from 2005 or before and what i mean by from 2005 or before is like you have to pretend like you live in 2005 at that time and only those cards and before are legal they had just had the first ban list so it was a really solid format but there of course is some you know unfair stuff like delinquent duo and all that stuff and you know pot of greed and everything's still legal the second deck i have this is actually the warrior deck so warrior is one of the best you know dd warrior lady was crazy because if you know you attack it you have the option to banish the card which is really strong blade knight was really good you could have it 2k if you only had one card in your hand it also can negate the effects of flip monsters which are really good and go format so this is really good because if it's the only card on the field on your side of the field it'll negate the flip effect which is crazy chaos orc obviously insane turbo pack too by the way i got some nice version in there uh yeah chaos orc was a, a goal you know chaos monsters were insane because they banned chaos ember dragon but bls is still legal chaos works at three so there's a lot of great cards uh kaiku was good because you could banish from the graveyard no chaos stuff if you got him uh you know on the field ninja grandmaster sasuke is a cool looking one actually pretty decent the uh the little one mystic swordsman level two is good as well uh tribe was insane back then it was at one i think at that point uh level two is good hits those flip monsters they don't get to flip up here's a actually someone gave me this collector rare a couple of years ago just as a gift so i put it in my deck i figured it'd be pretty cool black cluster soldier insane card i mean don zalug yes he actually gets some play in this format it's pretty awesome so this deck's just really strong because you just set a bunch of good cards in the background trap dash shoot sakuretsu armor you search your warriors uh you got breaker you know it's just a really strong like set you know in your back row attack with big guys and you know decent effects too here's one of my favorite decks that i have which is my relinquished deck so i've got three of the ulti thousand eyes which are just absolutely beautiful some of the coolest looking cards i have and then a bunch of extra deck it's really mainly you're going for you know this guy do i have an ulti ojama king i do nice okay i upgraded that that needs to be uh you know an lon but we'll, we'll get to there eventually and if you're an old school guy you might be like yeah relinquish is up my alley you got relinquish you got metamorphosis right into the thousand eyes restrict which is crazy manju's crazy in this because it can search either the ritual or the ritual spell so it's very very strong you play three of those of course deck is actually really fun you just you know you eat stuff up with your relinquish and your thousand eyes you of course can still play bls which is awesome morphing jar is insane lava golem is hilarious if they have a bunch of cards on the field just tribute them and put your lava golem out there start burning them it's pretty funny it is a big guy so you got to be careful don't put it out at the wrong time saying again we got hobby league really cool so yeah this is a really fun deck this is the one i tend to play platinum book of moon anybody let me know your opinions on platinum uh rarity in the in the comments that's pretty funny exiled forest sinister so yeah it's it's not a monster heavy you know deck because you're just trying to get relinquished out and stuff but it's really fun i enjoy it there's also a side deck here but we're not going to go through that and my last go format deck before we get into the one that i bought is my chaos control basically this is the one where i have oh that's not first dead uh it's kind of like my max rarity one i've not maxed out everything but a lot of the cards are maxed out this one i pretty much never play because the cards are too they're just too uh too expensive so for some reason i guess i wanted to upgrade these so i've, I've written on the things of their vlp heavy play mod play because i want to upgrade these to near min at some point heavy play so mod play so a lot of these were not in the condition that i was hoping near mint we actually got that one 
uh, Air Knight. So a lot of this stuff is like the max rarity, like Suki and these are ultis instead of like Dusa or any of the rares or anything like that. It's Champion Pack, like Champion Pack Magician of Faith. So this is a very expensive deck. That's why I never really play with it because I don't want to damage any of the cards. Sakuretsu Armor. I mean, all those are CPO one. Near Mint. I don't know why I wrote on that if it was Near Mint. Light Play, Mirror Force. I got Light Play, Ring of Destruction. I'm probably going to resleeve these at some point because I don't really like the double sleeve. I used to do double sleeve, but I kind of have to because they're so expensive. So I don't know. Let me know. Should I double sleeve? Should I single sleeve? I'm going to start doing single sleeve with my less expensive deck, Snatch Deal. The first dead, Ulti Pot Agreed. I mean, a lot of this stuff you can see is first dead. These are Champion Pack Metamorphosis that we pulled. This one is just a, is a common. I've never gotten a third one. Uh, Book of Moon. We got two of the CPs that we pulled. So obviously, very expensive deck. And uh, yeah, that you can get crazy with Go Format, a lot of high rarity stuff. So this is like my high end one, my collection one, but not really the one I play with. Okay, and here is the one that we purchased. Uh, the guy said this is worth around two plus thousand. I paid less than that. He offered it to me for like 1100. He was like, yeah, I think it's worth a lot more than that, but you can have it for 11. I was like, uh, sounds pretty cool to me. I mean, I'm like, all right, so we'll check it out. I know there's some nice cards in here. He sent me a list. I didn't really go through all the rarities of everything, but I assume that they're going to be pretty nice. Like I saw a couple and I was like, okay, this looks pretty solid. Okay, we got it out. Let's see. A piercing moray. Wait, what is this? What kind of deck is this? I don't think I've ever played this card. Oh, no, he actually... Oh, wait, I think he said this was for the giveaway. Yeah, he said he sent this for a giveaway, so we have an ultimate rare piercing moray. Gen Force. Yeah, I was like, wait, this isn't that old of a card? No, it's not a go format card. This is part of the giveaway, though. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about go format. Have you played it? Have you not? Uh, and do you want to get into it? If you do, make sure to check it out, because it's really fun. Okay, now we check out the deck we bought. So we have Delinquent Duo. That is a first ed magic ruler, so we're not messing around there. That's pretty nice. We got Injection of Fairy Lily first edition. Okay. Pretty nice. We got to check out some of the conditions on these. We got a tribe infecting virus first ed. That's very nice. First ed ring of destruction. So he's not messing around with this. First ed BLS. We definitely have to check that out. That's nice. Invasion of chaos. Chaos sword from legendary collection. Yugi's world. Nice super. It's actually worth like 10 bucks. Uh, first ed heavy storm. Wow. Yeah. Heavy storm is legal in this. Insane. Uh, torrential tribute first edition from labyrinth of nightmare. Also really cool. We've got a Sangan from Retro Pack. We've got to look at that one. That's cool. Uh, a Bat. I don't know what Bat is. So Spirit Reaper from Bat. Oh, it's a Battle Pack. Okay, that's what it seems like. Ulti Decoichis. Okay, Rise of the... Uh, not Rise of the Duelist. That's way too new. A Rise of Destiny. we got a couple of those. That's pretty nice. Sukiyomi. Also very pretty. we got an Ultimate Rare of that. Break of the Magical Warrior from NFC. I mean, these are some great cards. we got a Hobby League Kaiku. Pot of Greed, Secret Rare. We've got a Secret Rare. This is one of the best versions of Graceful Charity, which is pretty insane. Graceful Charity, Secret Rare from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Also pretty nice. Sinister Serpent from SDD. Awesome. Not the uh, 5K version. There is a 5K version of Sinister Serpent. It's insane. The TFK Spanish version. Solemn Judgments are all the Ghost Rares. These are pretty nice. Uh, I think Metal Raiders is worth a lot more, though. We've got the Nobleman of Crossout. Speed Duel. What, what is this? this? What is this? Okay, then we got a first dead. So we got one first dead. I remember for a while I was playing an Asian English copy in one of my decks, so it's kind of weird. But uh, I did that. Gravekeeper Spy. Champion Pack 3 is the high rarity version of this. We have a couple of those. We've got an S bad from Speed Duel. So a couple Speed Duel options. Okay, there are Ultras, so I guess that's why he went for those. Thunder Dragoon. We've got three of those. Thunder Dragon. I never really like Thunder Dragon in my GOAT decks, but it is pretty decent. Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Zaborg. A couple of Zaborg. Wow, that is... What is happening here? Oh, that's not double sleeve. That's why. Okay. Banisher, Banisher, and Cyberstein. He's playing Cyberstein. Oh my gosh. But wait, where's the extra deck? He's playing Cyberstein without an extra deck? <laughs> Hello? Maybe this is a side deck card or something because it's not double sleeved? Weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's Cyberstein, uh, if you don't know, you pay 5k, special summon a fusion monster. So if you don't have any fusion monsters, it doesn't really work very well. Okay, we need to check out some, these three cards at least, the condition. So let's check out Sangan. Retro Pack 1, I don't know if I've ever even had one of these. Maybe like once? So this is like the high rarity version of Sangan. It's just a super rare, but it's from Retro Pack. Wow, that is a nice looking card. Let's check out the back. Usually it's the corners you got to worry about. Yep, there it is. Retro Pack, as you guys can see, the edges just get annihilated right out of the pack. They're like that out of the pack, which is a bummer. So cool looking card. Of course, it's got that, you know, classic retro pack edging on the back. So very cool. Then we have a Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Let's see what this one looks like. We'll check out the condition. I'm going to check all the conditions afterward because he kind of gave me a, an overview of what they are. Ooh, we got a little bend on that one. Other than that, pretty decent. We have little Nick right there. Pretty decent. I mean, like, I with that bend, I'd probably call it mod play just because there's a bent corner. You know, that usually is pretty 
That can detract a lot, but other than that, it's pretty clean. And then we've got our Injection Fairy Lily, which looks, from the look of it, is pretty clean. Look at that centering, guys. LOD centering at it again. Look how small it is on that side and gigantic on that side. That is not so hot. Okay, let's see about the actual condition. Is it minty? Card looks pretty nice. Back looks pretty good. Little tiny little dots right there, but nothing too bad. Oh, it got a bend up there maybe? Oh, it does have something right there. You can see it. A little bit of a dimple there. Okay, still not bad condition overall, but pretty nice card. So overall, a pretty sick deck here. We had a lot of nice cards and it appears to be more of like a goat control kind of deck, you know, just the classic. This was like the really popular deck for a long time in goat format. And then, you know, when people came back and started trying to reinvent the meta, you know, they, they revisited goat format. They started adding like warrior and stuff like that. Warrior chaos. And those became really good as well. Now relinquish is getting popular. So there's a lot of different decks that have kind of come back. But at the time, this was like the main deck to play for goat format. And if you guys are old school players and you think this looks fun, make sure you guys go check out go format it's actually a lot of fun i've played it for a really long time and you don't have to know any crazy stuff like synchros which aren't that crazy but xyz pendulum links all that stuff they're not in here it's just old school the way you remember you played on the playground except you probably didn't play the right way back then but maybe now you can figure it out it's not that crazy it's still a lot of setting activating trap cards and all that fun stuff that old school players like so if you want to check it out goformat.com is a great place to do it i'm not sponsored by them i just figured that you guys should go check it out because there's like deck lists and stuff like that there so this was an awesome deck pickup and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanna dizzy flexi boy hoppus choice 333 my cycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutscher supreme sage 21 frankie martinez and a tie show ian moose and junior barding mimic gecko shadowfall and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace